Hey guys, as always, I want to welcome you again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge, and today we've got one of the most fun party games you'll ever play in your whole entire life. We're going to be playing Iron Man Ivan Stewart Super Off Road. It was a very big part of my childhood. Played this a lot in both the arcade and on console, so we're just going to enter our name here. You've got a whole pile of bullshit before you get into a game, so forgive me. A little bit touchy. I'll try and do this as quick as possible. Far out, why am I filling out the census survey for? Anyway. I'll tell you a bit about... Oh, God, I'll just pick USA, no Aussie. Cool, alright. So basically, um, you can play this by yourself or with friends. It, it was either a three or a four player game, I can't remember. Set up on a, a stand-up cabinet, um, which came with a steering wheel and a pedal for each player. Obviously, we're on the keyboard today. Uh, because I don't have a cabinet, unfortunately. I'm not a rich guy. Um, but anyway, you do all these dirt obstacle courses. And the goal is obviously to finish as high as possible for more prize money. Uh, which allows you to uh, upgrade your car. I'm that little red car there that's not doing so great at the moment, but I'll catch up. The buttons are really simple. You've either got a steering wheel, keyboard, joystick, whatever to maneuver your car around. Then you have the pedal. Um, if you double tap the pedal you will use a nitro boost. Um, you've got a limited amount, but as you race, you can either collect them or you can buy more as you go along. Um, there's a lot of strategy involved with how you spend your prize money um, because each track progressively gets harder. Uh, the guys you're racing against will become more skilled and uh, you really have to work to your strengths. If you think um, you do better with better handling, by all means, work on that. If you think you need more speed, upgrade your engine. Um, You've really got that freedom to upgrade your car, for at least this time period anyway, it's very, very advanced. I think it came out in 1987 or 1988, this game. Forgive me for not remembering the exact date. Um, but you've got the freedom to upgrade the car to your strength, and I think that's absolutely awesome, to be honest. As you can see, we've got some cash here. Um, if you get caught in an obstacle, I think acceleration early is pretty handy because that will help you boost out of a slow zone. So there we go, we'll go on to the next race now, we'll see how we can do here. As long as you finish first or second, I think uh, one credit will give you a fair amount of playtime, at least after a bit of practice. This is one of those very reasonable games, it's not unfair. Um, I love games that, uh, that you get rewarded for practice, and practice makes perfect. Seriously, some games were designed just to spam coins out of you. This really is a fair game that genuinely tests your skill. So as you can see, like, um, it's been years since I've played this, but I mean, I'm, I'm out in the lead, you know. It's, it's like riding a bike. Once you've learned, you'll sort of vaguely remember how to come back to this. Granted, the first couple tracks are pretty simple. It's cool to pick up that money along the way. I think a handful of bags will turn up per race. The first one will be 10,000, 20,000. I think the most you can collect, can collect is 40,000. And um, obviously, you just gotta, the enemy players can uh, pick up the power-ups too, so you've got to try and get them before them, obviously. So they can also use the money in the power-ups to get themselves stronger. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's not just bland AI, they're actually doing something going along as well. Oh. Getting a bit of a dead leg here. Oh, we've got 150 thou now. So, tyres might become... Oh, shockies actually. That'll, that'll go hand in hand with the acceleration getting through obstacles. I think we're okay for tyres for now. Uh, I really wanted to get some more speed, but we'll save up for that next race if we can do okay. Go track three now. It, as you can see, it's just so easy to get hooked into this game. You can probably tell by how I'm doing this video too. It, it just genuinely makes me excited playing this. And um, I wanted to do this video earlier, but unfortunately I didn't have a working ROM. And I was finally able to get a hold of it, and I was like, yes, we're doing this video straight away. I'm gonna use some nitro here. As you can see, this guy in the grey is always the danger. He always does better in the rest of the field. And I think that was pretty much the same in the NES version as well, which was a big part of my childhood. By the way, any copy or, or, of this game that you can get on any console or platform, they're all good. There's no bad port of this game, at least in my opinion. But, I mean, nothing will ever beat the arcade version. And, uh, 
still got such great memories of playing this in the bowling alley with my friends, all taking turns on each side. As I said, it was set up with uh, three steering wheels in this cabinet. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, I just got caught to a pickle there and it cost me. I think we must have overlapped the whole field. Does that mean I'm still in? Because apparently I still got second. Nope, that's our credit done. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys. That was Ivan Man... Iron Man, Ivan Stewart, Super Off-Road. Always get tongue-tied with that guy's name. But as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.